Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. I haven't videoed in a while. I've been really distracted with reenactments, hunting season coming up. I did a uh, hair on hide tanning class. Um, <clears throat> it's just been really, really distracting <laughs> in terms of flint napping. So today we're going to go ahead and try to work up a couple of glass points. Probably only get one done today because I've only got about 40 minutes. Um, but I'll probably be doing some glass this week. People seem to really like the glass. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. I'm not super organized right now, so bear with me a second. I should have got organized before I started. We are going to use copper today just because we're easing into it. And hopefully my back does not get too sore. I didn't flit nap yesterday because my back was hurting. But today it feels a little bit better. I've been shooting my bow like a madman trying to get dialed in for hunting season. Um, it's just been, been nuts. Just trying to keep everything moving. See what we can do today. I got some nice glass pieces here. Some nice orange. I found this little piece just just a minute ago on the ground at the base of the camera here. Probably a little point in there. And a little piece. So we're gonna just try to do up a quick little point, um, just to kind of get back into things, and we'll see how it goes. It's very pretty glass. I can't ever seem to keep all the points made out of this glass. People just gobble them up. Which is good. But it's like, it's, uh, it's hard to keep hold of sometimes. So this is very thin stuff, so we'll see how this goes. Try to get rid of all the soft stuff first. Now this point won't be that long. It's a lot longer than I need. Get rid of all the sharp edges. Just figure out where our flat is. So most of our flat is in here. So we might snap that off right here. Do uh, uh, bipolar trimming to get to get rid of that. No sense in trying to nap through a bunch of stuff you don't need. You gotta be self conscious about your hands, you know. So we're gonna get this closer to a reasonable point size. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I think that'll do. Now we're doing more of the flake in here. Let's see what we got. Hopefully you guys have all been doing well. I know times are tough right now for many people. Feel for you guys. Yeah, we're gonna use copper today. At least for pressure. At least for pressure. Try to zigzag this square edge off here. Heck of a day today. Very busy at work. So it's nice to get some quiet time for a minute. Just do some napping. Focus on the task at hand. Like I said earlier, I took a uh, hide tanning class for hair on. I was able to do a couple of sheep hides. Well, squares of sheep hide, about a one foot square which was part of the class. 
highly recommend it. If you want more information on that, put a comment in the comments. I'll get you some information. So we're just zigzagging the square edge here. Just to try to get moving. When you're working glass, you probably don't want to drop it. Now, this is a really thin piece, so I'm not sure what we're going to get out of it. But we're going to give it a college try here. Should be catching these flakes and saving them, but uh, I don't have any empty containers. <laughs> so we got a bit of a twist here, so we got to pick that edge up. Which, if we make this the tip, that'll kind of happen anyway. Do a bit of shearing. go yet. This point will not be that big. It'll be shorter as well. shearing on this guy. Might need to get an antler tine. I like using antler tines for shearing because you can, um, one, you save your copper tip, and then two, you get just more material that you can work with. So we're going to do a little short flakes on this side. So we can build a little convexity because right now it's kind of um, concave. If you try to drive a flake into a concave, it'll stop and stall out. So we're just creating little short flakes so we can create a little bit of convexity. And this tip is still drooping, so we gotta pick it up. Which we can do by shortening. Just 
doing short little flakes right now. We're not really trying to drive off a ton of mass. We're just trying to get everything organized. There's not a lot of mass to remove, so this wouldn't be completely flaked across. If it does go all the way across, it'd be by kind of luck. I'm gonna switch flakers here. This is a little bit finer tipped. If you guys wanna make your own, this stick is a mulberry, which grows like crazy around my house. And then this is just a quarter inch ground rod. You could twist it in a drill. And I like to hammer the point sharp because it work hardens the tip and makes it last a lot longer. And I like to leave the bark on because it allows, it gives you some grip. Just do a light sanding and it creates a soft space for your hand to sit. Works really well. Just trying to get this thing straightened out here. Do a little work to the base here. short flakes along the base maybe a little bit better so I'm gonna trim it Try to get everything flattened out here. Do it again. better so you, now we're getting a little flatter you can see it's nice and flat I didn't show you before so that's my bad but we're getting there Let's see here we can take some mass here
Maybe we'll try to make a Desert Sierra. I think that's what they call them. my best to be gentle. I need something with a finer tip. There we go. So we got this guy here. He's got a much finer tip. So we gotta work on our triangle a little bit here. Hope you guys can see okay. Might go ahead and work on notching this thing soon. I'm seeing through these safety glasses. There never seems to be enough light. Too bad.
not so bad. So here's where we're at. Just working on our triangle here. So I think what we're going to do... Do I have an example? I don't. So we're going to go... Try to do a Cahokia 3 notch. Should try to fix this tip first. It's looking a little safe. Sharpen this tip up just a little bit more. symmetry a little bit more after we notch it that way if we make a mistake we can fix it but I want to try to do a desert sierra which I think is looks like a cahokia I don't have a good example on my posters I have this little copper notch right here stone to help keep things stiff. I'm going to go ahead and put this pad in here too, just for a little bit of cushion. Tree looks okay. Because they're usually notched in thirds or close to thirds. And they come straight in. to be as careful as I can. This is pretty fragile. Of 
course. That's right, we'll come up, we'll try the other side, and then we'll come back. this to a point. Sorry for the noise. That's really noisy. Let's try this one. Maybe it'll be less noisy. Sorry guys. I like my notches to have a point instead of a flat. I think it does better for me. is not what I wanted. Take these glasses off. It's hard for me to see with it being glass already. last words, right? <sighs> Shoot. That would go in just a little bit more, man. We'd be in good shape. Here's where we're at. We're gonna do what we can to fix it up a little bit better. There's a lot going on here.
base all cleaned up relatively. It's really hard to see on the camera, I'm sorry. If we can drive that notch in just a little bit nicer on this end here. go for my white pad here get a little bit more of a color I think that'll do. What do you guys think? Not bad, right? It's beautiful color orange. I don't think that came out too bad. Let's see if I can get something white behind it for you guys. Oh, let's see here. There's a piece of evacuate when you need it. If I drop it, it'll mess everything up. But there you go. Let's see if we can do this. I'll put a picture in the thumbnail. Please don't drop it. Yeah, that's, that's what we got going on here. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Bye.